Welcome to another edition of News Bites here on Daily World Television. My name is Cal Korf and I'm your host. Folks, we're doing some live reporting out here in the city beautiful known as Chandigarh. We're outside, it's warm, the sun is very bright, which is why I'm wearing these sunglasses, so I don't go blind. And what I'd like to talk to you about today is a story that is going to only get worse and bigger. And it has actually global repercussions, even though it is taking place in the United States. We're talking about education and the series of steps that the Trump administration is taking. As everybody knows, uh, DeVos has been appointed as the Secretary of Education. She wants to bring things like prayer back into schools because she's a religious nut. Even though the, uh, there is separation of church and state and it's not supposed to be allowed. She wants to bring the Bible back into school and she wants to teach the kids creationism rather than science. She doesn't really believe in evolution. Now, DeVos has no qualifications to be the Secretary of Education. None. Zero. She's never worked in education. She's never been a teacher. But yet, Trump has appointed her. What she has done is she's donated about $200 million to the Republican uh, Party. In other words, it's a pay-to-play arrangement, obviously. Now, what's happening is defunding of public schools is now going to happen. I want you to think about that for a moment. Imagine money being cut from schools who are already short and desperate of for money. Teachers are grossly underpaid and money is even being cut to feed the poorest of the children who are entitled to, it's common sense, a free breakfast or lunch at school. And yet money is going to be lowered for that or taken away. This is uncivilized, it's inhumane, but yet this is happening. And it's not that the government doesn't have the money, they just choose not to spend it. And a lot of those poor people, their parents are not going to vote for Trump anyway, or the Republicans, so the Republicans don't care. So the reason this impacts the world is if there are foreign immigrants who go to the United States and they end up in public schools, what can happen is that they'll get a really bad education. Or if somebody is educated in the United States and they go abroad, things can get really bad as well. Because they don't know things that they should. Now, I have been out of school for a couple of decades now, and I can tell you that the quality of what passes for education today in the average American school is a lot lower and less than it used to be when I was a kid going to school. This is despite the ubiquitous presence of smartphones and computers and tablets, the internet, yet the quality of education keeps going down. If you look at statistics, the quality of the academic standings for the United States as a whole compared to the rest of the world keeps going down. Under the Trump administration, there's no evidence that this is going to improve. In fact, it's going to get worse. There's a recent report even that school vouchers for private schools have been a disaster. It hasn't improved things. And yet DeVos and Trump are hell-bent on letting the voucher genie out of the bottle with almost no accountability, almost no oversight. The kids can be taught whatever and nobody cares. So this is a scandal and a tragedy, a educational holocaust, if you will, that is now starting to take place. And it will damage several years worth of students, Americans, immigrants, both legal and illegal. And then it will take years to fix it when and if the government truly cares to do so, regardless of who is president of the United States. Thank you.